Russian military in Ukraine are utilizing drone technology to effectively respond to the recent surge of counterattacks initiated by Ukrainian forces. This innovative approach focuses primarily on neutralizing the Leopard 2 tanks and other contemporary military vehicles that have been supplied to Ukraine by European nations and the United States. These advanced vehicles are extensively employed by the Ukrainian army in their efforts to counteract Russian forces. A video, which surfaced on Telegram on June 10, 2023, shows that Russia's state-of-the-art Lancet system has achieved its initial victory over a Leopard 2 tank manufactured in Germany, indicating that the heavily praised tank, dubbed a wonder weapon by the media, has inadequate protection. The Russian Ministry of Defense recently released the video footage displaying the effective strike by the Lancet loitering munition, which reportedly occurred two days prior during an unsuccessful offensive launched by Kiev forces near the village of Orokov in the Zaporozhye region. The Lancet system did not target an outdated version of the Leopard 2 tank. Instead, it successfully destroyed one of the most recent iterations, the A6 model. The Leopard 2 A6 represents an advanced iteration within the lineage of German Leopard main battle tanks. It was developed and produced as an evolution of the Leopard 2 A5 main battle tank. The Leopard 2 A6 variant incorporates various modifications, with its most notable characteristic being the incorporation of the Rhine Metall 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, distinguished by its 3 foot longer length compared to the RH120 L44 utilized in the Leopard 2 A5. Additionally, the Leopard 2 A6M model, a modified version of the 2 A6, features improved mine protection beneath the chassis and internal enhancements aimed at enhancing crew survivability. Despite the Leopard 2 A6 tank being equipped with an enhanced armor package and armed with the powerful Rhine Metal 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, it was unexpectedly defeated by a lighter variant of the Lancet system known as the Isdelia 52. The Isdalia 52 carries a warhead weighing merely two pounds. The tank was hit on its vulnerable side, which is a known weak spot in its armor. However, such targeted attacks should be anticipated in modern warfare. The Leopard 2's manufacturer, Krauss Maffei, evidently did not invest sufficient efforts into addressing this specific threat. Conversely, the operators of the Lancet system exhibited comprehensive knowledge about the tank's weak points and executed the strike with exceptional competence. The Lancet loitering munition developed by Zala Aero Group, a subsidiary of Russia's major defense company Kalashnikov Concern, has gained attention. It serves as a distinct combat tool commonly known as a suicide drone. This unmanned combat aerial vehicle combines the capabilities of conventional missiles and drones, enabling it to be directed to a specific area where it can linger, identify targets, and ultimately upon locating a target, strike by self-detonating its payload, resulting in both the destruction of the target and the drone itself. The Lancet possesses several features that enhance its effectiveness on the battlefield. Its compact and lightweight design facilitates easy transportation and deployment. The drone also offers a significant flight duration, allowing for sustained operations, which can be crucial in prolonged conflicts. Operating at speeds ranging from 50 to 68 miles per hour, the drone demonstrates an impressive endurance of up to 40 minutes, covering a maximum range of 24.8 miles. This exhibits an exceptional capability of the Lancet to traverse substantial distances, delivering significant tactical advantages. 
the Lancet 3 model has a maximum gross takeoff weight of 26 pounds and can carry a payload weighing up to 6.6 .6 pounds. The drone can be equipped with high explosive or HE fragmentation warheads, enhancing its versatility in various battlefield scenarios. To fly towards its designated area, this munition utilizes a GLONASS aided inertial navigation system, which gains control over the munition during the final stage of flight. Once in the area, the operator employs an onboard electro optical system through a two way data link to detect, track, and lock onto the target. The detonation of the warhead is then controlled by a laser ranging system. The Leopard 2 tank that was destroyed by the Lancet was just one among several that met a similar fate during the recent battle in Orokov. Alongside the Leopard 2, multiple American-made Bradley M2 A2 ODS infantry fighting vehicles were also destroyed in the conflict. However, it is important to acknowledge that the Lancet attack over the tanks comes with its own set of difficulties. Firstly, Russia will need to ensure a steady supply of drones capable of carrying out such attacks, considering the rapid rate at which they are being deployed. Secondly, the effectiveness of this tactic might prompt Ukraine and its allies to invest more extensively in counter drone measures, which could involve technologies like jamming, anti-drone weaponry, or improved battlefield awareness tools. The deployment of the Leopard 2A6 tanks in Ukraine's war zone aligns with the commitment of its allies, Germany and Portugal, to enhance Ukraine's military capabilities. Over the past few months, these allies have pledged to provide Ukraine with around 100 Leopard 2 tanks, with a minimum of 21 units being of the A6 variant. The statement was officially made by German Defense Ministry on February 8, 2023, declaring that the initial batch of Leopard 2 A6 tanks would be shipped to Ukraine in March 2023. Subsequently, on March 8, 2023, the German news website Der Spiegel reported that Ukraine would receive 18 Leopard 2 A6 tanks from Germany and three from Portugal. This information was further affirmed on March 30th, 2023, when the German Ministry of Defense officially confirmed the delivery of 18 Leopard 2 A6 tanks to Ukraine. The success of the Lancet system against the Leopard 2, however, does not come as a surprise, as it has documented more than 300 hits since the start of Russia's special military operation in Ukraine last year. This development serves as a stark reminder of the role emerging technologies like drones are playing in modern warfare. Furthermore, from a strategic standpoint, Russia's decision to prioritize the destruction of high-end military hardware changes the dynamics of the conflict. By effectively neutralizing these key assets, Russia is not only seeking to reduce the immediate threat posed by these vehicles, but also aiming to deter other nations from supplying Ukraine with similar high-end equipment. As the situation in Ukraine unfolds, the world will be watching closely to see how these tactics evolve and what impact they may have on the conflict's trajectory. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.